Okay. Um, this one is not x squared plus 10 squared, right? This is a binomial that's being squared. So if I wanted to just have an x, I can just, no, that didn't work out very well. I can square root both sides of the equal sign. Now that's going to get rid of my square, but it's also going to give me an absolute value of x plus 10. And that's going to equal the square root of 11. So, since I have an absolute value, I need to split this up into two separate equations. And I would have x plus 10 equals the positive square root of 11. And I've got x plus 10 equals the negative square root of 11. Now what I would do uh, to solve both of these, as it turns out, because I want x by itself on its own side of the equal sign. We want to isolate it, however you want to say that stuff. So I'm just going to subtract 10 from both of these. And so on this side, I've got x equals the square root of 11 minus 10. And on this one, I've got x, oh yeah, it's minus 10 there as well. x equals the negative square root of 11 minus 10. Um, Here's how I think the book is going to, or the homework's going to want this, all right? Is you're going to have to write this with the square root as the second term. Now, there is a reason for that, and we'll go over that later. But what I mean by that is this would be the negative 10 plus the square root of 11. And this is negative 10 minus the square root of 11. This one may be a little bit easier to see kind of what's happening. Um, because we got just the negative 10, and here's the negative 10, that's our first term. And then we're adding the square root of 11, but we're also subtracting the square root of 11. And these two constitute the two answers. An absolute value, let's say the absolute value of x equals 2, right? Well, x, because this, this splits up into x equals a positive 2, but x equals a negative 2. That's not going to be any different as if it were the square root of 2. So you'd have the positive square root of 2 and also the negative square root of 2. Now if the, if the negative, let's say that this 11 right here were negative, then we would have an i in front of that. Which is where the, that's, that makes all the differences. Is it the square root of a negative or is it the negative of a square root? Well, because on that x